escaping the ride. Welcome to Behind the Song, where I dive into the deeper message and meaning behind my music. My goal is to give you a window into the mind of the artist, to break down the deeper intentions and vision for this song, and to reveal how my own life journey and teachings have influenced the creation of this composition. So, as always, taking a breath, letting it go, opening up now to receiving the essence of this song, and get ready to experience music in a whole new way. Let's dive on in. They told me my plans are wrong In a world where everything's the same They told me that I don't belong But now I'm on that flight Touching down tonight Left my fears behind And you know it feels so alive Cause now I finally found my purpose, I'm flying high Escaping, escaping, escaping Cause I've been shown a different kind of life Escaping, escaping, escaping Well I didn't always know the way But they showed me everything was gonna be okay Creating myself and finally found my tribe Escape and arrive, escape and arrive, escape and arrive, escape and arrive, do 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 do. You welcome to this episode of Behind the Song featuring Mr. Daniel Wynn. Thanks for joining us, Daniel. That's me. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty yeah. good. So yeah, we're here good to in a way, actually good, and not just like a surface level good. I'm actually good. Yeah, thanks for being authentic, mate. Yeah, no worries. Appreciate that. And um, so we're here to talk about um, this beautiful masterpiece of a tune, which is "Escape and Arrive." So good. Um, written by myself and yourself for Love Life Passport, our good friends Taylor and Annika. And we're going to talk a little bit about um, why we made the song. Well, mainly because they hired us to, but apart from that, why we made it. Um, and then what that song means to us and like the impact we've seen that had and how someone listening or going to listen to the song um, can take a deeper level of meaning from this as a piece of art. Let's do it. Let's do it, mate. So first piece is why did we make it? Yeah, so... What was the, the process of the journey of this coming into fruition? Why we made Escape and Arrive is because someone who, the, we, someone who has a business that we resonate with who takes people on a journey that has been similar to ours, uh -huh. approached us to write a song. And we just felt a very full yes excitement to do so. Sure, yeah. So we had been creating our musical. We'd been like writing songs and realizing the power of music as a tool for inspiration and transformation um, and mixing personal development concepts into the songs. And I think that's something that Taylor really recognized. He'd seen some of the clips we were posting from the show and the music and he's like hey i want to have a like a brand song a brand anthem so like these are the guys right i think many songs most songs are about love and romance and codependency to be honest toxic ways of being <laughs> and the know that in, you're toxic yeah and the top and, and the songs from the musical i feel are refreshing uh are refreshing to, to many, in especially a lot of them have a story and take people on a journey and talk about a journey, not just of falling in love, but of awakening, of transformation. And I feel that that, that resonates strongly with people. Totally. And, you know, what we wanted to do with this song was to bring in an element of that storytelling, like similar to like Disney, you know, where we've got maybe characters, heroes that are going on a journey as we have in our own musical as well, Conscious the Musical. But we've got this concept of the hero going on a journey from pain and not enough and being stuck and unfulfilled to finding their purpose and finding their bigger vision in life. And that is the journey that we're all on. That is the hero's journey as it would be. 
And mm. um, so that was something we really wanted to communicate in this. So what we did was we we met up with Taylor and we sat down and um, got in the room together and we really hashed out like what is the process that their and um, their ideal client, their person that you know their their dream person that they want to work with that they can inspire and help with Love Life Passport and all that their team, their amazing team are doing. How can we best like attract and inspire more of the same people who are ready to really step fully into their purpose and their mission in the world. Exactly. And what is their brand essence? What is the message that they want to give out to the world? They want to transmit. And really what it ended up being is a transferring from the old branding and communications consultancy that I used to doing from just copy and building websites and, and sales copy into songwriting. So it's mm. a fantastic transfer of skills for me, uh, of actual um, experience there of helping someone express their essence and, and inspire people into action, mm -hmm. uh, but through song. Totally. And so in the song, the, the hero of this, and if you watch the music video, which is on YouTube as well, if you watch the video, you'll see the heroine, the, the lead female going on this journey from being stuck at home and the lyrics kind of speak to that. It's like, I've been working on my dreams, but they told me that my plans were wrong. And in a world where everything's the same, they told me that I don't belong. And that's kind of like really setting the scene for like being stuck in a, in a time in an environment where like there's not much hope, there's not much, um, there's not much, ability to see past the the limitations of the environment and i i can personally relate to that i remember being 21 and um, just just out of college and thinking like what actually is there like i was living in like the bubble of south dublin and you know i thought maybe i could join a band and maybe that was my one ticket out of that life but for the most part everyone around me was just doing the same thing and kind of telling me when are you going to get a real job when are you going to just like go work for an accountancy firm basically um, and i'd love to hear a bit about your experience of that yeah I found myself, once I started getting bored of just living for the weekend, you know, and, and it was like, wait, where is the connection that I'm seeking? What is, why, there's something missing. Um, I realized that I was just stuck in routine and my, my nine to five, my corporate job didn't allow enough energy and time either side of that to explore new things, to just feel alive. And so for me, it was really about I need, I need to experience something different. I need to escape this current stuckness, this routine, and explore something new, a new way of being. And that is an experience I think that a lot of people have where they're like tied in through debt and through commitment to mortgages and car payments and houses that, you know, they, they don't have the freedom to go and just explore more of the things that make them who they are because everything in their environment is keeping them in that. So in the bridge of this song, before the course, we wanted to bring in that concept of changing your environment and changing up to something new in a very short space of time. So the lyrics to that part are, but now I'm on that flight, touching down tonight, and um, left my fears behind, and it feels so aligned, okay? So what does that bridge mean for you? I feel like being on a flight, going, traveling physically to somewhere new allows the, the interrupt of those patterns of those routines that keep us stuck. And so the flight, yes, it's traveling, it's going somewhere new, but it's a metaphor for, for, for traveling somewhere new within ourselves to a new version of ourselves. Yes. Um, something that's more aligned. Totally. And I think also aligning with the brand of, um, Taylor and Annika of Love Life Passport was they are effectively started as travel bloggers, like traveling and posting content and high quality shots and reels and videos of their travels. So it makes sense that actually like uh, the reason why a lot of people initially came across them was, wow, look at this lifestyle that these uh, people have created. I would love to have that. How can I have that? And that's how I think that stems into the inspiration around their, their business coaching packages and the, um, yeah, just like how it's possible how someone can nowadays create and live that kind of life, how they can escape that old life and arrive in a new life via flight or otherwise online business. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so then the chorus, we'll just do the extended chorus lyrics um, and what they mean. So um, now I finally found my purpose. I'm flying high because I've been shown a different kind of life. I didn't always know the way but they showed me everything was gonna be okay, creating myself and finally found my tribe. 
escape and arrive. So let's break that down. Yeah. Finally found my purpose in flying high. How does that feel? Not bad, is it? Yeah, it's all right. Not a bad feeling. <laughs> That's the essence though, like because in some way, like the the sec the first mountain is like making some cash and having a pretty good life and then realizing there's something more. So the second peak, the second mountain, is really finding and living that deeper essence of ourselves, what we came here to this earth to do. So when we find that thing, or even an iteration, like a version of that purpose, it really does allow us to fly high. Right, because we may have found success in the way that society tells us we're successful and it's, there's an emptiness to it. And it requires a shift and therefore, um, yeah, sometimes a drop in money, a drop, a drop in the things that help us feel safe and secure. And, it's, and, and that's what feels so incredible once we get there because it's a risk. Totally. And this concept of being shown a different kind of life and not always knowing the way but been shown that everything was gonna be okay. This is the idea of the mentor or the guide coming in the hero's journey. So someone who can really take us from not knowing and really being confused. And in those moments where we're, um, yeah, unsure of how to step forward, it is someone who's already walked that path and knows and has seen 10 steps ahead and can see where we're at and can give us the guidance that we're ready to receive in that time is super invaluable. And like my experience of having mentors and coaches and guides along the way have been people who are just removed from my life and my situation and kind of have been there, done that. And the value of that is, it's, it's kind of priceless in some ways. Like no matter what someone pays for a coaching program or you know an online course or something, if someone can really meet me where I'm at, and show me the next step that can save me maybe years of pain, you know, and fumbling around in the dark. So that's kind of what for me is really important about having a mentor or guide and why we wanted to kind of bring that through in the song. And especially when people are feeling like they haven't got their tribe, where they do feel alone in many ways. And, you know, we're the sum of the five people we spend the most time with. And so having someone come in and being around and feeling the transmissions of someone that's living in a different way, thinking in a different way, being, loving, creating in different yeah. ways is invaluable when we've only been surrounded by people that we feel like we're starting to to not fit in with, to outgrow in some ways. Or Yeah, even having one person in our life that is holding a different frequency and a different mindset of how living life is possible is enough to break the programming and shift how we think about our entire lives and even hold us through because once we hear truth it's undeniable it lands in deeper level you get those goosebumps going up your arm when you hear something that's undeniably true so having someone speak truth and even having one hour a week of talking to someone that's like able to meet us in that is and it can actually catalyze a change that breaks through all the the layers of um, holding patterns and the um, conditioning of the people that are surrounding us and also the conditioning of our own minds that has that has been programmed to keep us in those old ways of being, keep us in that nine to five, keep us in that unfulfilled job with that unfulfilled partner and the people around us. So we can actually have that spark that then lights and ignites the fire that brings us to that higher version of ourselves. It's pretty cool. Beautiful. The last bit then is, um, you know, creating myself and finally found my tribe, mm. um, which you know, there's two pieces there. The creating myself comes from, I think Taylor has a, <laughs> Taylor has a tattoo in his leg, which I remember we did a podcast and we were looking at it, going, what do you, what's that in your leg there? It says, create yourself, be different. Mm. Um, and this idea of like, we're all playing characters to some degree. We all have like an avatar that we're creating in this life. So we get to create, what are the attributes? What strengths do we want to grow? you know, in ourselves and how do we want to present ourselves to the world? And if we, if you could create any version of yourself and you knew that was possible, what would you create? I love that. What would you do? It's a conscious journey rather than a, rather than Reacting. just being, yeah, yeah. Just like riding the tides of life, taking us, oh, here, then they've got this job and I lost this. And then it's like taking control or, taking more of a conscious leadership of your own life, yes. I feel. And in, in that sense, you then start creating yourself rather than being the sum of the experiences that are happening around you that, are, that other people are creating for you. Totally. And then the final piece is finally found my tribe. And we can talk more about the second verse here because I love just the, the vibe of the second verse. We got all of the Love Life Passport team into the studio 
and part of the music video as well to record this. And there's something about like an anthem, you know, when you're at a football game or something and you have like 80,000 people singing, like it's, there's just an energetic, even though a lot of football games might not be the most conscious or, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're, they're, it's touch and go. But, you know, the essence of a collective group of people, of thousands of people coming together and singing the same thing in harmony, in unison, there's a power to that. There's a, there's a deeper energetic frequency to that that just ripples out and resonates. And it, that's another goosebumps moment. So what I wanted to create with that was this idea or this, this feeling of tribe, you know? And when you hear that, it's something that we can really like identify with and resonate with. So the second verse goes, we are the crazy ones. They told us that it can't be done. Leaving our old nine to five, now every day gets to be fun. We are the change makers, mold breakers. If you don't like it, see you later. We don't have time. We are the chance takers, innovators. And if you like what we are saying, come join our tribe. Lots in that. Lots in that. Um, and I just want to riff off what you were saying before around the beauty of the song and people singing a song. And, you know, many, it's pretty established that we need to hear something many times for it to go in, right? Yes. Eight times, I think, is the, the most uh, researched. And so that's the beauty of a song. Like the message go, it's, we want to sing it again and again. We enjoy singing it again and again. And especially when it's a positive, high vibrational message, it gets it into our, our body, our subconscious, yes. our belief systems, rather than just like, oh, we read the book. Yeah, I've done that. You know, I've integrated. It's like, well, no, we probably don't know it. Yeah. Probably haven't embodied it. And so there's an embodiment of the message, of the, of the inspiration. And I love that about when we got everybody into the studio, everybody singing it and that, that essence of what it means to have a song with the message in it. And to bottle up the energy of community because I've seen with, like, with Taylor and Annika how they have built and led their team and their company and the people they have in there, they're, just, they're epic. Like we played at their event and it was, it was just like, it was just like a big family, you know, it was just, it was literally a tribe. So to take the energy of a tribe of people who are working and playing and living together and bringing them together into, and like singing, and maybe not everyone was perfectly in tune, you know what I mean? But it was, eh, eh, but it was like, it's the essence, the energy, it doesn't matter what tune they're singing as long as the, the, that deeper frequency is coming through. So what we wanted to do was in that sense was to, instead of just singing about tribe, like that's part of it, but to create an energetic. So when you listen to that song, you feel like you feel it. It's like that deeper truth. You feel part of that tribe. And we, we can talk about, you know, doing, you know, guided meditations and affirmations as a thing to raise our frequency. Like this is well studied with Joe Dispenza's work and you know, the power of the mind and setting intention and energy work to create our new reality. But it's much easier to just listen to a song 10 times and let it do the work for you. So that's kind of what we wanted to do. We wanted to bottle up and capture that energetic essence of you know, creating the life we dream of and being part of that community and tribe and instilling it into a, you know, three and a half, four minute song that you can play in your car when you're driving to work, you know? And also the benefit of anyone being able to listen to it once it gets on Spotify and anybody being able to feel a part of that tribe and for the tribe to be therefore expanded and given the opportunity to grow with this thing being connecting uh, everyone who listens to it and everybody who connects with that has a shared uh, experience that they can connect to. Totally, absolutely. And so like, I'm really excited for, just to see what the impact of this song is because um, we're about to fly to, to Dusseldorf to perform the song at the Escape and Arrive event um, from Love Life Passport. So, you know, that's really where we're gonna have the launch of the, of the song. It's a bit of a secret. So if you're hearing this, shh, don't tell anyone. Um, and yeah, it's, it's really, for us, I think, uh, a new frontier of, you know, writing a song or a brand anthem for a company and seeing that come to fruition. And already, already the payoff, I think, has been amazing for us and for them in terms of bringing the team together and the morale that's been created before it's even been released to the world. So I'm really excited to see what comes from that. Yeah, I mean, just watching Taylor, the client, it's when we were singing the song on the stage at his event, just losing his, like, his mind on how much he's enjoying it just absolutely going nuts and then there were people crying yeah in, yeah. in the audience that were part of it and so to, to stir up these types of emotions um is a blessing to be able to give and i feel it is an incredible thing to receive and it, you will remember that moment 
totally for the rest of your life if you cry during a moment like that you that's unforgettable totally and another interesting piece on that in terms of unforgettable like we talked about you know hearing something eight times or retargeting like as uh as a marketing strategy like aside from the emotions and stuff like this th we say escape and arrive like you know maybe 15 20 times in that song as the hook it gets stuck in your head it's like the germans have this term like earworm is, is the name which is like something that gets stuck in your ear and you can't get rid of it um and that's really what it is and so escape and arrive is the name of their retreat and the name of their event their workshop event so it's now like not only is it stirring up emotions but those emotions are now being tied directly to in this case the product name so in terms of like a retargeting campaign it's pretty pretty good it's pretty effective and mm -hmm. um, so that's something that we've really realized in this process. Like really was just an experiment. We're like, okay, we've been asked to do this thing. Let's see what happens. And these have been the lessons that we've learned, like the power of, of course, song as a way of communicating messages and a journey and a story, but also as a, basically a, like a marketing tool, you know, and in a way that's ethical and fun. It's not like, Hey, we're going to like ram our funnel down your throat. You know, it's like sing along to our song. And if you want to come to some events after great, you know? And I, I love the, the tribe element of their customers, but also witnessing the tribe element of the team, the internal uh, staff and team yeah, yeah. Of, of Love Life Passport and being shared videos of them all up on the tables yeah, at a at restaurant. Like, at a restaurant, uh, partying uh, to the song. Just yeah. singing to the song and having the time of their lives, it seemed, singing this song. And I, my sense is that they, they really, that enables people to really feel like they're part of something. Yes. Part of something bigger. Like how legitimate is it to have your own song? Yeah, it's a bit of an authority stamp for sure. Right. And like I, if you've got a following or a group of people, then to create that community through a, through music yeah. is, is powerful. Yeah, for, for the internal team and the external tribe. Yeah. Uh, and just witnessing what the effect is having so far has been a beautiful journey and it's more inspiring to, to do this more for others. Totally. So at this point, you know what's up. You get to go right now and uh, listen to the song Escape and Arrive by Love Life Passport, Pete Byrne, Daniel Wynn. We're excited for you to hear it. If you enjoy it, please drop us a message maybe on the dreaded Instagram at it's Pete Byrne or at Daniel J. Wynn, Daniel J. Wynn. Daniel J. Wynn. Um, and if you're interested in learning more about um, having maybe a brand song or brand anthem for your brand, um, you can go to awakenedutainment.com and there will be a link to find out more about that. Enjoy the song. Peace. Peace out. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed the show, make sure you subscribe for my upcoming episodes. Oh, and by the way, new studies have shown that good karma is actually a legit thing now. So go ahead and chuck us a five-star rating if you're feeling extra generous today. And one more thing. Have a think about any friends and colleagues that might get some value from today's episode. And just be sure to share it with them right now before you forget. Alrighty, ciao for now.